So uh, this is gonna be a quick short video on how to find your target speed instead of just trying to guess it. Um, you could actually find out your target speed using this powerful tool called the Kestrel. Um, a lot of you guys have one of these. Uh, this thing is a powerful calculator. It's not worth $700 for nothing. It's a lot of money because it does all cool, cool, all types of uh, cool stuff. And one of the cool things that it does is you can measure your target speed using the Kestrel. Once you get your target speed, you can also get your lead in mills, as long as you have the proper yardage um, inputted and other things that you wanna input. And so we're gonna go into details on how to get your target speed, which will in turn give you your lead in mills. So how do you capture your uh, target speed if you're shooting a mover? Your target speed will also give you your proper lead in mils. Um, so when you, on your Kestrel, this thing is a powerful tool. It will give you um, all that. Um, if you go to target, press enter. Scroll down to TS, which means target speed. And then units, you can change it to miles per hour, feet per second, meters per second, kilometers an hour, knots, meter, but I usually do miles per hour. So most of you guys will probably do it if you're in the US. Um, and then estimate, press enter. Again, our range was at 134 yards on this one last week, um, and, or whatever range you shoot your mover at. Um, in this case, this is a 22 match and the range is at 134 yards. Uh, the movement just means like how many mils, over how many mils do you want to measure your movement? Um, you can set it to 10 mils, 1 mil, 4 mils, I usually like to set it somewhere big. Um, so 4 mils meaning that I want to measure it over this distance from here to here. How long does it take to get from here to here? So that's 4 mils, 1, 2, 3, 4. Or if you do 10 mils then you, you know, it's going to be wider, obviously. Uh, but. So the time is how long it takes to get from here to here. Uh, I usually like to measure it in the nose end of the target. So once it gets to here, I start the time. And then once the nose gets to this side, I stop the time. And I encourage you to measure it, not just going right to left, but left to right. Because sometimes you'll get a different wind speed. I mean, not wind speed, target speed going left to right from right to left, especially if the mover is on an incline. If it has to go uphill, then it might go slower, but if it's going downhill, then it might go faster. Um, so, you know, let's go to the time, press enter. And then once I the nose of the target gets to here, I'm gonna press stop, I mean, press start. And then once the nose of the target gets to this side, I'm gonna press stop. So let's uh, measure the time. Start, stop. So it took about 1.3 seconds. And I, I like to keep doing it maybe five different tries just so we get a good average. In this case, we'll just do it once just for the sake of the video. And then press exit. And then press exit. Accept estimate. Yes. And then that will give you the target speed. Right now it is with that measurement, it's at 0.8 miles per hour. So again, the target is at 134. The movement that I wanted to measure it over was four mils. It took about 1.3 seconds. And with that calculation, the, the, it will give you the speed of the target, which is 0.8 miles per hour. So now how do you find the lead? And go back to um, the main screen. Uh, this is called ballistic mode. And you know, instead of going to target this time, go all the way down until you get to ballistics. Press enter. And go all the way down. I'm not sure why it's kind of you have to dig for it, but anyways, this is how you find it. Trace, chop, lead. So this is your lead. The lead, if the target is going point, I think it was point eight yeah. miles per hour was what we measured. Um, the lead will be at one point two six mils, or I like to round it up to one point three mils. That's going to be your leads, lead in mils. And again, you can change this to mil, inch, centimeters, click. But uh, we mostly use mils in competition, so uh, it's going to be one point three miles per hour based on 
the target speed that you got on the previous calculation. So that's how you uh, find out your target speed, which will in turn give you your lead. So again, just to recap, go to target, target speed, estimate, you type in the range and the movement that you want it over. In this case, it was four mils for this one. You can do five mils or 10 mils. Um, and again, I recommend that you measure it right to left and left to right, because sometimes you'll get different um, speed values. And then click on time, start, stop, exit, and then it will give you a target speed. Then go all the way back until you get, and then go, do that, go down to uh, ballistics. And then if you go to lead, it will have an asterisk over it because that's what you measured and it will give you a 1.26 mil lead or 1.3. So that's how you find your lead for, based on your target speed.